Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to run Minecraft 1.14.2 fast with absolutely no lag. I know it's hard to believe in 1.14.2, one of the most unoptimized versions of Minecraft we've ever had, that you can actually improve performance, but I promise you can. We're going to be going from like 80 to 100 FPS to over 500 FPS in this video using Optifine. Optifine is an incredible tool to increase FPS in Minecraft, and it is now out for 1.14.2. So go check out this link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Optifine, to see our in-depth guide on installing Optifine in Minecraft 1.14.2. Not only is there a video up here at the top that will help you out, but all of this down here is a tech tutorial that'll help you out, and you can walk through it step by step at your own pace. But nevertheless, once you've got Optifine installed, we can get started. However, first we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you're looking for an awesome server that has one-click mod pack installation, one-click start of a 1.14 server, and just overall incredible support, go check out Apex again at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this and increase your performance in Minecraft 1.14.2. Now I'm assuming you've already got Optifine installed. Again, you can check out the link in the description down below as well as the eye at the top of your screen to see exactly how to get that, how to set up Optifine and everything. Now, once you're there, you should have an Optifine profile here, right? You should have this Optifine profile. We actually need to go ahead and edit that. And to do that, click the three lines up here in the top right and then click on Launch Options. Once you've done that, you should have this Optifine profile. Click on that Optifine profile and in here we can really start editing things and getting things rocking and rolling. So first and foremost, it should say 1.14.2-Optifine here. If it does, you're good to go. Now, resolution. Resolution is something that you can actually change that can really make a big difference when it comes to increase in performance. The problem is it's going to make your Minecraft window smaller so that's something you need to keep in mind in my case I'm gonna run it 1920 by 1080 that's just so I can make sure you see the game better if we didn't run at that resolution it would be pretty bad however for you you could run at 1280 like 1280 by 720 that's 700 720 p right not bad but it's going to increase fps quite a bit you could even try to go lower you could do like 1000 by 600 or something like that if you were to do a resolution like that it is going to be a smaller window it's going to be harder to see things but overall it's going to increase your performance in minecraft i've had to play at that resolution before and you can play at it it's not great but you can play at it and you can still build stuff and, and have fun. So nevertheless, I'm going to be playing at 1920 by 1080, but that's just so you all can see. I would recommend row lowering this if uh, you're really having some performance issues. That is one way that you can get back quite a bit of performance very, very easily. Now, JVM arguments down here, right? So JVM arguments is changing your RAM in Minecraft. There's a bit more intricacy to changing your RAM than I can really go over in this video. So we do have a dedicated video, the eye at the top of your screen, that shows you exactly how to change your RAM in Minecraft 1.14.2. I go how to calculate how much RAM you need, when you need to add more RAM versus do something like what we're doing here. All of that is covered. So go check out that video if you want to upgrade your RAM and are still lagging after this video. You might need to upgrade your RAM. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click save here and then come back over to the news tab, click the little green arrow next to the play button, click on our Optifine profile just to confirm it's selected, and then go ahead and click play. Now Minecraft 1.14.2 will open up and we can really get into getting Optifine and everything set up in order to reduce our lag. Now, one thing I do want to do here is create a baseline. So we're going to be joining play.breakdowncraft.com. That is our own Minecraft server, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We've got two survival servers, grief protected survival. We've got a custom the skyblock server awesome stuff but nevertheless let's go ahead and click on multiplayer right here and then we're going to go into play.breakdowncraft.com to just get our baseline fps for this like how much fps are we getting so we can see our fps up here in the top left right and give it a second to load everything in it's going to be low at first and then as you can see we're actually floating around 60 45 we're not getting much fps at all be it we're running shaders here this is pretty resource intensive what we're doing but this is how low you can get a computer to perform if you're like running everything at max so we're going to see a huge fps jump here by the way if you want to come check out this town on our server join our aquatic survival server it's our server based economy survival server so join our aquatic survival and do slash warp coral cove and it'll take you here absolutely beautiful beautiful in shaders but nevertheless this is our baseline so i will give us like a 75 fps on the high end so we're looking at this number right here and it's at like 75 even 80 fps 
Let's go ahead and see how much we can get that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect from the server, back to the Minecraft main menu here, and then click on options. One thing I will say is I want you to post your before and after FPS in the comments section down below. So go down there and do that. You know, go ahead and type in your before FPS and then comment your after FPS once we're done. Anyway, once you're here, first and foremost, you wanna click on resource packs. Now, any resource packs that you have selected, go ahead and unselect them. It should just say default over here. Now, some people will say that Minecraft will run better with, you know, a specific eight by eight resource pack, and it might, but overall, you're not gonna see a huge performance increase from that usually. So running default is the best. Now, there are texture packs that will decrease FPS and decrease performance so that's why running default is so important then go ahead and click done it'll reload Minecraft and we can go over into our video settings to really get rocking and rolling so once we're in video settings here we're gonna be going through every single setting a lot of these are added via Optify so you need to install Optify in order to get the best performance because it's gonna allow us to do stuff we wouldn't otherwise be able to do so first and foremost graphics we want to turn these on fast render distance turn it as low as you can go right Everybody says, I don't want to play Minecraft on a low render distance. I get that. But if you turn it as low as you can go, you'll be able to play very, very easily. Now, this is the first thing I would recommend you doing, turning the rest of these off. They're a lot less noticeable. And then come back in here and upgrade your render distance. I'm actually going to leave mine at 12 just to see what kind of render distance and what kind of FPS we can get at a 12 render distance, which is very playable. Now, smooth lighting, let's go ahead and turn that off. Max frame rate, we want to leave that unlimited just so we can actually see our high frame rate. Smooth lighting level needs to be off. View bobbing, that's personal preference. Technically off has better performance, but really and truly that's personal preference. GUI scale, in theory, this GUI scale right here is the best, right? This is going to give you the best results for lag. However, I don't know about you, I can't see that. So we're gonna go ahead and make it to where we can see it again. Use VBOs definitely needs to be on. Brightness doesn't affect performance, can do whatever you want. Attack crosshair doesn't affect performance, it can be whatever you want. Dynamic lights need to be off. Dynamic FOV needs to be off as well for best performance. Shaders need to be off. So if you can click on shaders and they work, you need to turn them off. So once you turn them off, it'll reload Minecraft and click done. Shaders are very resource intensive and will lower your FPS significantly. Quality. In quality, we want to turn mip map levels to off. We want to turn linear mip map to the nearest. Really and truly, if you turn mip maps off, it's not going to matter, but still like to change that. And anisotropic filtering needs to be off. Anti aliasing needs to be off. And immersive textures need to be off. Some of these are required reload like that, some of them won't, but. Immersive textures off, random entities off, better snow off, grass needs to be off. Uh, it's actually not grass off, it's better grass. Custom fonts needs to be off. That crashed Minecraft, no problem there. That's actually a bug that's known in 1.14.2 Optifine. We are still in a preview version of 1.14.2 Optifine, so we crashed there, but that's not a huge problem. We're just gonna go ahead and reload it back on up and we'll be good to go. Um, and I actually have turned off what we wanted to turn off there. So we're launching Minecraft back up. If it crashes, what I'm saying is don't worry about it. That's just a preview bug and most likely it won't happen to you if Optifine's been out for more than two days because that's where it's at right now. But once we're back into video settings here, we can come back into our quality settings and we can see that what we wanted to turn off there, custom fonts, I think, was turned off. Custom colors is off. Connected textures can be turned off. It's going to reload Minecraft. And then we can turn off natural textures. We can turn custom sky off. Custom items off. Custom GUIs also needs to be turned off. Custom entity models needs to be turned off there. And there we go. Everything in there literally needs to be turned off except mip map levels, which needs to be nearest. Go ahead and click done and then come over here to details. In details, all of this needs to be on either off or fast. Clouds off, cloud height off, rainy snow off. Trees need to be on fast, sky off, stars off, 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 and fog needs to be off. Fog start really doesn't matter because uh, yeah, you've turned fog off. Translucent blocks need to be fast. Held item tooltips actually don't affect performance. You can leave those on if you want. Dropped items need to be fast. Entity shadows need to be off. Alternate blocks off. Vignette needs to be fast. Swamp colors need to be off. And biome blend needs to be off. Then you can click done. After that, we can move on to performance where we want to turn smooth FPS on unless you want to see your max FPS, which we do. So we're going to leave that off. Same thing for smooth world. Turn that on after you've went and saw how high your FPS goes. So after this video, come turn Smooth FPS and Smart and Smooth World on. However, I'm gonna leave them off so we can see that high end FPS number. What they do is basically stabilize your FPS at about 60, which is all you ever really need, and it makes things smoother, but we wanna see how much we can crank out of this. So fast render, we wanna turn on. Fast math, we wanna turn on. Chunk updates, we wanna turn that to one. Dynamic updates needs to be on. Region renders on. Lazy chunk loading on, and smart animations on. Basically, everything on this page needs to be 
be on, except Smooth World and Smooth FPS. You want to turn those on after you've completed this and commented down below what your new FPS is. Now we can go ahead and click Done there. Then we can come back over to Animations. This one's really easy. Just click the All Off button down here in the bottom, then click Done. And Other, really and truly, this isn't going to affect FPS too much. All we want to focus on here is Weather, turn that off. Time, you can turn time off, but I like the day-night cycle. Full screen needs to be off, and autosave can be whatever you want. I would recommend leaving it at six minutes. You might have a lag every six minutes if like, you have an old hard drive or something, but overall, this is something that you want to do. Screenshot size, doesn't matter. Show GL errors, doesn't matter. You can leave that the same. One thing I do recommend is turning show FPS on. That's how you can see my FPS in the top left. Full screen resolution, by the way, doesn't matter because we're not playing full screen. Now we can go ahead and click done, and at this point, we can click done again, click done again, and join in to get our new FPS. That was pretty easy, right? It's pretty easy to set up off fun or reduce lag. I guarantee we'll probably be at over 100, probably more like over 500 FPS here. So once we load in, it'll take a second. As always, FPS is going to be lower when you first load in. As you can see, it was like at 92. Then immediately jumped to 200, 300, 400 FPS here. So yeah, we've stabilized around 400 FPS. Not bad considering the highest we saw was 80. The highest we have saw right here, 430. And actually, we move around a little bit. Yeah, it's going to go up just a hair. We saw 500 for a second there. As we load in more chunks, it's dropping into the twos, but quickly recovering as we move through the chunks that are already loaded. So awesome stuff there. Thank you all so much for watching. And I don't think up here there's any denying that we have, in fact, made Minecraft less laggy. If you have any questions about this, let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this every single day of the week and come play with us here on play.breakdowncraft.com and maybe even join this town at slash warp coral cove. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. I've already said that. I suck at outros and I'm out. Peace.